welcome in. So today I'm going to show you how to turn your V-Roy character into a VR chat avatar. Let's get straight to it. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is download Unity. Uh, the current version as of August 2022 will be Unity 2019.4.31. So this one down here. Um, go into your windows and download that. Then all of these links will be listed below. Next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and head over to Booth and you're going to want to download the VRM converter for VRChat. And the final file you're going to need is the VRChat avatars 3DKS avatars file. Um, this is the one that's worked best for me. Perfect. Um, I am acting under the assumption that you already have a VRoy character. If you do not, I will link this video below, which will show you exactly how to create your VRoy character and export it. Okay. So next thing you want to go ahead and do is open up Unity. You'll find it down here. I would don't bother with the hub. I would just go straight onto Unity. Um, so open it up here. Once you've got Unity open, let me just close my old version. Once you've got Unity open, you want to go ahead and create a new project, 3D, and then call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it uh, Pokino 98 Frog Top. Create project. Sometimes they take a couple of minutes to create the project and open up, but that's totally normal. Okay, perfect. So now Unity is opened up. What you're going to want to go ahead and do is find the uh, SDK file you downloaded from the VRChat website. And I'm going to want you to drag and drop that into this assets box down here. This can take a couple of minutes. When you get this pop up, I want you to click all and import. OK, so that's now finished downloading. If you're wondering if something hasn't quite finished, um, there'll be a little cog down here if anything is being imported. The next thing you'll want to go ahead and do is find the VRM converter that you downloaded from Booth and you're going to want to extract the files. I've already done that, so you'll end up with a file that looks like this. I want you to double click it, go into the file and you'll see this uh, Unity file for you here. And do the same with that. Drag and drop it in, select all and import. OK, you might get this pop up. If you do, just close out of that. OK, perfect. You'll know when this is done installing because you will see VRM zero at the top. For some reason, it doesn't always install first time for me. If that is the case, um, just drag and drop that same file again. OK, so now we can go ahead and click on VRM zero and import VRM. Go into wherever you export all your VDroid files to and find the file you like. So let me try and find mine. I would like uh, Man I Love Frogs t-shirt. OK, open that up. Um, it'll pop up with this next pop up. Go ahead and just click save. Don't mess around with where you're saving this. It can mess it all up. I would just save it wherever it's automatically saving it to and make a note of it. So click save. OK, once it's all imported, you'll be able to see your avatar down here. Go ahead and click on your avatar, go back to VRM and click duplicate and convert for VR chat. Once you see all this, I don't mess with any of this. I just click duplicate and convert. Save it again. OK, so it's all imported now. You can see your avatar in here. You can scroll in and check everything looks good. Here is my guy. Again, okay, Man I Love Frogs t-shirt, super duper cute. The next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is click on your character over here. So there's my avatar. And you're going to see this little tiny ball. Let me see if I can see it. Yeah. See this ball right in the center of the face? So you want that basically directly between the eyes. I think, I mean, mine is right in the middle, but you want to move it a little bit more forward. Basically where your headset would rest on your face. So I need to change my x-axis and I think I need to go to about... 0.045 4, 5. that seems about ample to me you can check it from all angles how we look in i think that's about okay for me i'm quite happy with that okay so once you've done that you just need to check that you have um turned everything on down here so you can mess with your uh rotation states this will be how your eyes sort of ambulantly move when you're not looking for me, for my, my left and right, I've got minus 10 and 10. And on my uh, Y axis for my looking left and right, I've gone minus 8 and 8. Um, make sure for your eyes you've clicked. If you click in this little box here, 
you need to go and find eye. So if you search eye at the top, you'll see left eye, which you need to select the left eye bone, and right eye, which you need to select for the right eye bone. This will probably be automatically done for you. Um, I just like to go in and check. Um, the other thing you'll need to do is normally for lip sync, you'll need to turn it on. I've already done it. Um, but if you've not already done it, you need to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so once you've done all of that, it's time to export. So you click on VRChat SDK, go to Show Control Panel. You're going to need to go ahead and log in. I will obviously blank mine out. Okay, you can see on my world creator, I'm allowed to publish worlds and I'm allowed to publish avatars. If you get to this stage and it says you're not allowed to, you just need to play a couple more hours in VR chat and hopefully you will get a little email from them saying, oh, you are now user level of trust, you can upload content. Okay, as long as you're allowed to publish worlds, go into Builder. Um, if something here might say, there might be a few errors and it might say auto fix just go ahead and auto click them i am no expert at this so your avatar is obviously not going to be optimized um but they do work and they do work fairly well from what i've experienced so if you just want to test it but you don't want to upload it yet you can do offline testing which is build and test and it will send it to your uh, account but for this i'm pretty certain it's going to work so i'm just going to go ahead and click build and publish for windows Okay, so once that's finished, it'll come up with this page. Just pull that to one side. Now you're going to want to go ahead and name your avatar. So I call mine Pokina98, and I'm just going to call it Milf Top. Um, description, I'm just going to call mine, you know, uh, let's just say model based off Twitch streamer Pokina98 from Milf Top doesn't really matter what you call it um, content warnings because I'm gonna be the only one using it I'm setting it as private but I'm gonna tick all of these boxes so I can do whatever I want with my model and then make sure you click this little box down here once you've done that you can now upload your avatar okay so once it's completed you can just click OK and you can come out of unity okay to check if it's working go ahead and go to your VR chat uh, website and go click it on avatars you go into my avatars they will appear in here so there you go there is our froggy milf top you can see some of the other models that i've uploaded um, obviously you can go ahead and edit your um, your avatar in vroid as many times as you want and repeat this process that's how i've ended up with so many different variations of my character um, you can go ahead and do this however you want now i don't believe these models work on oculus i haven't had a chance to test it out but i will go and show you how they look in uh in pc so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you are logged into VRChat, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up your menu. So go to avatars, and here you go. Look, you can see all of my creations. If I just go straight into here, worlds, avatars. Sometimes they will appear down here for some reason. If you go ahead and click the test version, this is where they will pop up down the bottom here. But let's just do the, the demon version. I've not tried this one, so it'll be a test for me as well. There we go. Okay, so I'd say it's pretty pretty good for the most part. The, the physics is not too bad. I'd say it, it's quite, it's pretty, pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with this. And you can obviously walk around and test how it works. You can see if there's any issues that you'll need to make, stuff like that. But yeah, so this is how you would upload your avatar. Obviously, I'm filming this in front of a mirror. If you, if you so wish and you want to use this like VTubing, you can go into your menu, click on the little camera icon, click stream camera and it will come up with a little phone in front of you and then you can turn that around and you can talk direct to the camera like this so i really hope this helped obviously the the mouth movement is not particularly there but i think it's a, a perfect good start to getting avatars into vr chat and getting your head around the basics um i really hope this tutorial was helpful for some of you and i will do my best to keep putting out more VR chat related content if that's what you guys want. Have a fantastic night everybody. I'm Pokina. I'm a Twitch streamer and I would love it if you guys came and hang out with me sometime so I hope to see you soon. Have a fantastic day everybody and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye!